Hi there, Rose Grunewald here, and I am stamping with you today from my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. I made a really pretty fun fold using the Peony Garden Designer Series paper, and today I'm going to show you how to modify this card to make a totally different card featuring the well-suited Designer Series paper by Stampin' Up! Now, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome! I'm happy that you're here. I make a lot of video tutorials and you can keep them all in one handy place by hitting subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you will not miss out on anything from me. If you would like the measurements and more photos, if you're a photos person, um, for the card that I make today, you can just head to my blog at www.rosegrunewald.com and I have got all the supplies and other information listed in the description right below this video. So enjoy all of that and let's get to stamping. Okay, I have got this super pretty fun fold that I made using the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. I used some die cuts from the Butterfly Brilliance bundle and the sentiment using the Many Messages bundle. And I'm gonna show you how to use this layout as inspiration, but make a different card featuring a different pattern of designer series paper. So the designer series paper we'll be using for our card is the well-suited designer series paper. This um, coordinates well with our basic black, basic gray, Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, Poppy Parade, and basic white colors. So a lot of really, really great colors in there. And it also coordinates with the well-suited twine combo pack. I absolutely love, love, love using twine. So let's get started. Okay, <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is stamp our sentiment using the Many Messages bundle. And I've got this already mounted on my Stamparatus. I've got a scratch sheet in here. And I'm going to use a half a sheet of Smoky Slate cardstock. All right. I am just going to line this up and make sure these there we go magnets keep everything in place here. And I'm using the um, <clears throat> the stamp set case to I slide it underneath the panel of my stamparatus to make it easier to ink up my stamp. I'm inking this up with smoky slate, so we're doing a little bit of tone-on-tone -tone stamping here. And this will be some nice kind of neutral colors that will go with any of the patterns and colors in this designer series paper. Now the nice thing about the Stamparatus is if you look and you're not getting a good impression, you can just re-ink and stamp again, and it will stamp in exactly the same place. And I probably need to re-ink my smoky slate, but this one's a little light and this one's a little bit light. So I'm gonna focus on those sentiments here. There are all sorts of sentiments here that will work absolutely wonderfully for many different cards. All right, now that we have this stamped, we are going to die cut it with the coordinating dies. These are called messages dies, and these just line up and cut out all these sentiments at the same time. So I'm gonna go cut those out and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have all of these sentiments die cut, 
they're just going to pop right out like so. And now we've got all of these sentiments just ready to go on our cards. The one I want to use today says, hooray, it's your birthday. And I'm actually going to keep all of these sentiments in a little box I made to hold them. So it's so easy to just grab them. This is one of our paper pumpkin boxes. And if you order my many messages to go class that I have going on through the 15th of this month, you can learn how to make one of these boxes too. <clears throat> okay, let's get to making our card. So, the first thing is I need a piece of smoky slate, and I'm going to cut this in half the tall way. So, about four and a quarter and cut this in half the tall way. Now, because we're making a tall card, the grain of the paper runs this way. We're breaking the grain when we fold it, so we need to score our layers so that we get a nice crisp folded edge. So I'm going to score that at five and a half, and then I'm going to take the score line and I'm going to line that up to my two and three quarters mark. Actually, let me do this on the top so you can see that. So I'm going to line that score line up on the two and three quarters mark, which is half of five and a half, and I'm going to cut this piece off, but I'm going to save this. We're going to need this for our card. Okay, now I'm going to cut a couple pieces of our designer series paper. I'm gonna grab this striped pattern, these pin stripes I really like, and I'm going to cut a four inch strip off. Set this big piece aside. And then I will cut this, let's see, I will cut this at two and a half inches. To find my two and a half. So this piece is gonna go on here just like this. And then our next piece is already four inches wide. I'm gonna cut that at five and a quarter. like so, and this is gonna go on the inside of our card like that. Now with a coordinating piece of designer series paper, and I'm gonna use this navy, I'm going to cut a piece that is two and a half inches wide. And the other dimension is going to be four inches, just like our pinstripe piece. And this is gonna be our piece that goes here on the piece that we cut off. I also need to cut a piece of basic white. And I'm gonna cut that to four and three quarters by three and a half. That'll be for the inside of our card. Okay, now that our pieces are cut, we are ready to get to putting our card together. <clears throat> so, let me get my bone folder here and I am going to just burnish that edge so that it stays nice and tightly folded. 
And we're going to do some gluing. So get out my snail here. We'll glue our first piece of designer series paper down. I really like these silicone mats to protect my tabletop from getting all sticky when I'm crafting and using my glue. So we'll just center that on that piece like that. And then we are going to do the same here for the inside. Oops. We will center that. When I center these pieces of designer series paper, I line up three sides and then if those are equal width, then I know that last side is going to line up. So I line up this side, this side, and that side. And then on our flap on the outside, we're going to put the same designer series paper that we put on the inside. So we'll just glue that down. This is a great layout to make for any of your designer series paper that has really great coordinating patterns. And you can kind of keep this layout in a display or handy somehow so that when you need to make a quick card and you want to do a fun fold, you absolutely can use this as a go-to. <clears throat> All right, now our inside piece, our uh, basic white, glue that down right away too. We're going to center this up. And these striped lines kind of help us to center too. So now we've got the inside of our card done that you can write on that like so. Okay, now I've got a piece of um, another coordinating pattern. And what I'm going to do here is use my rectangular postage stamp punch. And I'm going to punch one of those. And I've got a piece of Knight of Navy here that I've been using for punches, as you can see. And I'm going to punch out um, a piece of my tailored tag punch. What we're going to do is layer these pieces together and our hooray sentiment is going to go on top of our tailored tag. So let's glue that down right away. So I'm going to do my best to center that here on our tag. That looks pretty good. So this piece is going to go into the center here with this on top. So I'm going to glue this one down. And again, do my best to kind of line that up in the center. All right. And I'm going to bring out some of the gray here by using some of the twine from the well-suited twine combo pack. And I'm going to wrap this around this layer twice. And then snip it off. And we're going to just tie this in a simple bow. off to the side. Now with the twine I really like to tie in a knot first because it helps me to keep that twine secure while I tie my bow. So if you are struggling to tie bows especially in these 
um, thin twines or thin ribbons. If it's not too bulky, sometimes, um, if it's not too bulky, you definitely can make a knot first. You kind of give yourself a, a break from having to hold everything down. We only have two fingers or two hands. We have a lot more than two fingers, but yeah. I'm just going to trim some of these edges off. <clears throat> and now I've got my tag and I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals here. I like to put one in the top two corners because then it is going, it's not going to get in the way of this twine. There we go. And then we are going to pop this layer up on dimensionals, but we only need dimensionals on this half. So let's, a couple in the corner, a couple here. Okay, that looks pretty centered to me. I'm using the stripes of this pin stripe to kind of line everything up. And of course we can embellish this. So I'm gonna grab some of my clear epoxy droplets. Now if you order my Many Messages class to go, the clear epoxy droplets are included in that class and a quarter pack of the well-suited designer series paper and a quarter pack of the peony garden designer series paper which is the paper that was used on the original card all right there's our finished card we took a layout using peony garden and we modified it to a different designer series paper. And I think that this turned out absolutely stunning. If you need supplies, I would absolutely love to be your demonstrator. You can find more inspiration from me and shop my online store. Just go to www.rosegrunewald.com. My host code for the month of March 2021 is ADVD3TYA. And if you would just take a minute and hit subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would so appreciate that. And it's going to help you because you will have all of my video tutorials in one handy place. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.